how do you think about being compensated for your services? A lot of us who are more spiritual, uh, heart-based, sometimes have a hard time charging for the work that we love to do, right? And so let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, you don't have to charge for the work that you love to do, right? You, it's, that's, that's an option. You don't, you don't have to charge for it to be successful in doing the work if you define success in your own way of having helped others and become fulfilled at doing the work. So that's, that's option number one that I should always re remind you of. Um, you can make money doing other things. There's lots of things you can make money doing. You don't have to make money doing the work that, that you enjoy doing. That can be a hobby. But number two, if you do want to make money doing the work that you love to do, then here is the concept I'll, I'll share with you. The concept is interdependence. Money is a social convention of people reciprocating with each other. So when, when you give a service to others and they pay you, think of that as interdependence, right? They're depending on you for the service and then you are depending on them for their financial support. So hopefully with that idea of interdependence, you'll feel less bad about charging for the services that you provide. But and here's another, I guess, nuance uh, that I want to share with you, which is um, because it's about interdependence, uh, whenever you feel like you're forcing the issue, you are charging when people are saying, well, how come you're charging for that service? Then you are out of that sense of interdependence. Now you are in the territory of having to persuade, having to force them to do something that they don't feel is right to do. And we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use a kind of more mainstream example to, to help illustrate the idea. It's, it, imagine if you were going to apply for a job at a company, okay? You wanna work at this company, they have, a, they have a job opening, you apply for it, but when you go apply for it, you don't do any research about the company, you don't even look at the job description, you just go in there and with your own enthusiasm, you say, I want you to pay me and, and when I come here, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Those are things I love doing. You better pay me for that, right? The company will <laughs> throw you out the door right away. Um, similarly, when we go to our potential clients and, and we try to sell them on something that we are enthusiastic about, that we think they need and they should want, but they're not paying us for it, it's like the person who doesn't who doesn't care what the company wants of the new worker and just says, I'm gonna, you better pay me, I'm gonna come do this because I love doing this and love doing that. No, right? Somebody who wants the job is gonna research the company, research the job position and say, oh, the company wants this for me. They're willing to pay for it, so let me bring my way of doing it to, to that job position and I'm gonna do that job position, make sure it's fulfilling the role that the company had in mind and therefore I will feel good about earning the money, right? Same thing with your potential clients. Get to know them and their requirements and their wants and what they wanna spend money on, right? Because you're, you're applying to a job with them, essentially. And now that you know what they, they wanna spend money on, what their, their quote unquote job requirements are for you, then you can say, all right, with my enthusiasm, with my experience, with my personality, with my values, with my style, I'm gonna bring what you want to you. You can pay me for, you know, for this, this service I do because you want that service. You'll feel good about paying me and I'll feel good about providing it in my own way.